In this video I'll show you how to add calendar items to Sakai in a basic way, and then also in a later video I'll show you how you can upload multiple things to your calendar from a spreadsheet all at once. So here I'll go to the calendar, and there are no events in my calendar so far, so I'll go to Add, and give it a title. So I'm going to call this one Lecture 1 Introduction. I've already written that out, so I'll just click on what I've written there. And then for a date, I'll give it October 29th. For a starting time, we'll say 10 a.m. We'll say that this lasts for three hours. Um, so it'll be over at 1 p.m. Um, and what we see here is the same sort of rich text area you see in anywhere in Sakai. So you can create here links or um, any HTML code you have. You can embed um, videos even if you wanted to, images. Um, but I'm just going to do some plain text. So I'll paste in some words here. Be sure to read the syllabus and introductory materials prior to this lecture. And then scroll down a little bit. Um, for an event type, I'm going to say this is a lecture. And I'll add a location. So it'll be in that location. And I'll go down and save the event. So now when you come back, you'll see um, all the events in the calendar, which right now is uh, only just this one. Um, and if you can see it from this view, you can click on it, and then you can see more information. You can read the full description, etc. Um, if I wanted to go and edit this event, I could just click Edit and see the same screen I just came from. I'll go back and hit Cancel. Um, and if I wanted to remove the event, I could just click right here and do that. So your students will see the same thing as you see here, except they'll have a few fewer options than you see. So they won't have the edit button and they won't have the remove event, but they will have all this information here, plus go to today, back to calendar, etc. So if we hit back to calendar, um, so one thing I wanted to do is I wanted a custom field in here. So I, when I was looking there, I didn't have any place that I could put in the instructor name. And in this case, we're going to have different instructors for the course. So I want to be able to do that. If you wanted to add that, you can go up to the top where it says Fields, and add it at whatever field name you want. So I'm going to type in Instructor, and then hit Create Field. And you see that the, the field shows up here. We'll save the changes. And now when we go into Edit This Event, you can see the instructor's there. If we hit Edit, there's a little box where we can fill in the name of the instructor. So I'll save that, and we have the first thing. In your calendar, you can look at it in a number of different ways. So right now we're looking at it from the list of events, all events view, but we could change it to view it by the day, and you could see it in different blocks here. Uh, by the week, you can see how that follows for the week. Um, by the month, it starts to get a little bit more abstract, and by the year, which is really kind of crazy. Um, but we'll also go to list of events, and you can view a custom date range. So we're viewing right now just the month of October, because that was the last thing we were on was on month view. But if you wanted to, you could list all the events for the course. And this is the view that I prefer, because um, it's one standard view where you can sort of look and see all the different events. So I'm going to set that as the default view. And now when people come to my course, that'll be the default view, list of events, all events. You can also view the calendar on the home page. So when you come down here, you can see that the, 20, the event on the 29th shows up. When we click on it, it has a little information. Click on that again, and it'll give pretty much the full information, or you can get full details to get there. Um, this view of the calendar is the month view. You can see it comes up as blue if there's something on that particular day. If we want, we can change that um, from my view, from uh, have the month, to just seeing what's going on by the week. It's also possible to make things show up in different colors for priority items. So an exam, you might have it show up as red or something. Um, and so here's a week view of what's going on in my course. 